Are you known as Larry Flint? Uh, no, Jesus H. Flint Esquire. Have you ever called yourself Larry Flint? Mm, used to, but it was spelled with an I then. F-L-I-N-T, now it's mm -hmm. F-L-Y-N-T. I have two birth certificates. Were you born in Kentucky? <coughs> no. Have you ever served in the United States Navy? Hmm. I'm not sure. Have you ever lived in Dayton, Ohio? No, I was hatched in Dayton, Ohio. While you were in Dayton, Ohio, did you ever work in the nightclub business? Huh? Did you ever work in the nightclub business in or around Dayton, Ohio? Let the stenographic record reflect that Mr. Flint has just picked his left nostril and placed on the floor some of the uh, uh, mucus that had coagulated there. Uh, do you know what day today is, Mr. Flint? Do you know who the man is to whom you pointed earlier and whom you said knocked out your tooth last night? Are you uh, determined, Mr. Flint, to make a mockery of this deposition? Do you wish to pretend that you don't understand my questions? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but sure. the truth? Sure. Yeah. Would you t ask him that question since you're the notary? Yes, and I affirm to tell the truth, too. All right. Who owns the stock in the Larry Flint Corporation? Uh, uh, Joseph Barr, Jr. He's really my son. That's his. Okay. He's my natural son. When you say natural son, are you using that in the 19th century term? No, I'm using it meaning he, meaning he came out of my cock, okay? Three. To save a lot of time, why don't you just ask some questions direct so we can get to the meat of things? Well, I'm talk trying. About but I have to do it. His mother. What's that? Let's talk about Jerry and his mother. Just get right to the meat. Talk about who? Jerry Farwell. And his what? And his mother. About him fucking his mother in the outhouse. You know, let's just well, get I'm going to come to that in a moment. You know that I'm here for but that. But you're purpose. swimming in circles, Mr. Grotman. And what's going to happen is the captain's going to teach you how to go in and out. You know, if you don't hurry up. Because he's going to terminate this thing. Go okay. ahead. Now, you ask the question, and I'm demanding the time to answer it. And it's got to do with our sexual values. And I am telling you that that is what it's all about. Boy, you crawled out of one and you've been trying to crawl back in one ever since. And eventually you're going to realize that. And most of the people that work here in the BOP already know that. And they already know that a few people's got a drink out of a commode over there with some cigarette butts and shit in it. And it ain't going to be me. What? Uh, Farwell was very young. What's that? Farwell was very young. Yes, how long ago was that? Hell, I don't know what his age was. You know, well, since you've read young. this affidavit, which attests to having observed the specific incident, tell me what the affidavit says uh, so far as you recall. Okay. Here's, what, when the, was the here's what the occurred. affidavit says to the best of my recollection. Yeah. To okay. when? To the best of my recollection, the affidavit says that Mr. Farwell was at uh, a, the age of puberty, thereabouts, and that they caught him masturbating in an outhouse, looking at a picture of his mother in a Sears and Roebuck catalog. His mother's picture was in the Sears and Roebuck catalog? No, he had it hid in the Sears and Roebuck catalog. I you see. know how sometimes they buy Hustler and put it in the Wall Street Journal? I guess that's what Farwell was doing in the outhouse. And so these three boys uh, used to tease him all the time about catching him, uh, playing with himself. And they decided to watch him one day to see, you know, what he would do. And so his mother caught him once. And uh, she taught him a little bit about the birds and the bees, you know. Did these witnesses say that his mother had intercourse with him and they observed it? Yes. And where did they say that it occurred? Uh, I believe they said it occurred in Missouri, but I'm not sure. We'll have to check the document. Mm-hmm. Uh, does the uh, affidavit indicate how these boys who saw this were able to have observed this incident taking place? Yeah, they were watching. Where were they watching from? 
through the window of the house. And they could see into the outhouse? No, this happened. This, the first time was in the outhouse, okay, with the picture, mm -hmm. see. And he was only masturbating. The next time he was a little older and it, was in, it took place in the house. So these same boys who saw him masturbating with a picture of his mother in the Sears Roebuck catalog are the same people who saw him having intercourse with his mother, right? Two of them are, yeah. Don't you think that stretches credulity just a little further than anybody would swallow it? What's oh, credulity, credulity sir? sir? Okay. What's credulity, sir? <coughs> okay. Ambiguous. At the time that this... Do you uh, have a, an aversion or antipathy to organized religion? You better bet your sweet ass I do. And to the Bible? Goddamn right I do. Have you ever said, speaking of the Bible, this is the biggest piece of shit ever written? You're goddamn right I did. Is that really a personally held conviction of your own? You got oh, Jack, it's right irrelevant. it is. Do you believe that because of your aversion to the Bible and organized religion, that that gives you license to hold up to ridicule and scorn leaders of religious movements? Objection, it's irrelevant, right. it's argumentative. Free expression is absolute. It's absolute, including the dissemination. Unequivocally. Fine. And does that include, Mr. Flint, disseminating things about the private lives of religious leaders? Objection, it's You're irrelevant, right. it doesn't relate to his proceedings. I will drop a dime on my mommy. You'll drop a what? A dime on my mother. On your mother? What that means is, is I am a wet snitch. A what? A wet snitch. Okay. Uh, Taken out of context, I, I said the I, government I, has no business being in your life, you know, if you're of consenting age. But what we got to stop doing is we stop, got to stop fucking with the kids. Uh, you know, you understand what I'm saying now? I mean, you adult faggots can do anything you want to up there at Time Inc. In New York, we don't really care. But when you mess with the kids, we got a special place for you down here at The Rock, you know, and it's over in Mechanic Services with Doolittle. And they'll take a shift to your fat ass. Questions and answers. Mr. Flint, are you aware that you're, you're testifying in a judicial proceeding and that although yes, we're I'm not... I'm testifying a... under oath and I have a secret plan to win the war on obscenity yes. and stop the molestation of children. And the way you do that is to keep Jerry Farwell off the air. Give him a pack of seed corn and send him to Israel and let him tell them what thou hast said. Let him learn to live on the West Bank mm -hmm. and eat his manna and his corn. And he should take all the John Birches and the niggers with him too. But I tell you, I have got a photograph of Jerry Farwell masturbating and I've got a photograph of him fucking some young girl. Now, if you want them, you're going to have to get them from the captain. Now, there's a big difference between civil rights and individual liberties, and you should learn the difference. I mean, an individual liberty is something I'd like to do right now, take a shit right on top of your head. But now, civil rights is what these assholes over here are doing to me now. They're violating my civil rights by making me stand here and ask you to insult my intelligence. Wasn't a little cramped answer, not after I kicked the goat out, close quote. Got any proof of that? Yeah, his, the first time was a sheep. Oh, it was the first time? You got a photograph of Reverend Falwell having coitus with a sheep? Yes, I have. You do? Where's I that really photograph? Have. It's in my property. <laughs> and where's that physically located? Captain Sibley's got it. Okay. Yeah, he was fucking the goat. They, she caught him fucking the goat once. That's in the affidavit. You see what I'm saying? No, I don't. Are well, they had some animals on their farm. So when Farwell was a little boy, he got caught by his mother once masturbating and another time uh, screwing some of the animals on the farm. You know, I mean, you opened up this can of worms. I didn't. you have any photographs or tape recordings which were in your possession before you caused this thing to appear? Certainly do. They're in my room and I give Captain Sibley permission to let you go in there and get them. And you know what? He ain't going to say no. He's going to let you have them. Even do it? Can we do that during the lunch period? <coughs> we certainly can. Thank you. Let that be clear. I'll do it during the lunch period. Okay. I'm almost finished with this and then we can take the lunch. That for Reverend Falwell to function in his livelihood and in his commitment and career, he has to have an integrity which people believe in. Did you not appreciate that? Yeah. And was it one of your objectives to destroy that integrity or harm it if you could? To assassinate it.